Hello, this is the Radio Geek. I'm here today to show you a new little toy. It's uh, one of these software-defined radio dongles. Actually, it's a, intended to be a um, television receiver uh, for, I think, European countries. Um, it's this little dongle right here, and it comes from uh, New Elect. And basically, it comes with a little antenna and a remote control. Basically, you can disregard the remote control and the little antenna, pretty much throw that stuff away. Um, I also ordered a metal enclosure for it to cut down on um, interference from the computer, which I highly advise that you do. It's, uh, it's uh, <laughs> nearly as much as the dongle, but um, it really does help in that regard. So basically, you just take this dongle and you crack it open and take the board out and then you put it into this nice aluminum metal enclosure and plug it into your USB port. Now this on its own will go from about mm, 25 megahertz to like I think it was like uh, 1.7 gigahertz. Um, so if you're interested in the HF band stuff or shortwave um, you need to get this other device they sell it's called the uh, ham it up same company this is also an enclosure that I bought separately for it um, that you can buy just the board but then I bought the enclosure to go with it um, once again highly advise that you do that to shield it keep the noise out um, <laughs> they had a choice between blue and gray on both of these and I thought I had chosen blue for both of them, but I guess the default was gray and I didn't pay attention when I ordered it, so one piece is blue and one piece is uh, gray. But oh well, not a big deal really. Um, then I just have, uh, you have your RF, uh, your RF in here, and I just got a little adapter to go from a PL259 to, to a SMA, I think it is. Um, you have to power it, and USB, um, then you have your Let's see. Oh, there it is. Uh, then you have your output here that goes to the dongle, and you can bypass it or have it in up converter mode. I have it in up converter mode right now, and that's just a small cable that goes over here to the uh, dongle, and then plugs into USB. I did try plugging that uh, dongle into a little hub. It did not work. It recognized it saw that it was there and it was powered up but it would not function until I plugged it into the USB so it doesn't like that little hub um, I don't know if it's that particular hub or just hubs in general so if you're having issues uh, using a hub just try uh, connecting it um, directly to your computer so right now or I was listening to some hams on the uh, HF band um, it gets 40, 40 meters, 7.260, and uh, this is the screen that you get when you use software called um, SDR Sharp, is what this is. Um, you have to forgive me, I don't have a screen capture program here to, to uh, zoom in here any further or give you any real details. Um, there's a lot of information you can get on the internet just reading up on it, just... Um, searching for SDR Sharp and the uh, the uh, new Elect Ham It Up, and uh, you'll find all kinds of tutorials and instructions. There's a, quite a bit of fiddling around to get it to work, but once it works, it's uh, it's kind of interesting. So basically, I have uh, the computer hooked up to these little speakers over here, amplify it. Uh, so I will turn up the volume and uh, give a listen here. Uh, 
that thing on his rear end, buddy, and I couldn't believe that he climbed back in. Well, you had like that was many, many years ago. Yeah, and I, I think when you see the Blue Angels and you see the spectacular things that the So basically, the all these, um, you watch them, uh, all these little, you know, um, renew your faith in America, you know, spikes here are all stations that it's receiving or can pick up. So basically you get a, a spectrum of everything that's on the air and you just need to click on one of these spikes or on the waterfall they call it, any of these yellow marks here. You click on there and it'll take you instantly to that station. And over here you have various different uh, settings. You've got a mode Basically, right now, we're in um, lower sideband for 40 meters, but it has all the modes, upper sideband, lower sideband, AM, uh, narrow FM, wide FM, uh, double sideband, CW, and RAW. Um, there's all kinds of settings in here for filters and offsets and things like that. I won't get into all that. There's lots of tutorials on that that explain it a lot better than I can. But uh, let me just click around here on a few of these other ones and just show you what, what else I can pick up. We might have to uh, change uh, change modes here um, from lower sideband to AM or something, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can find. And some kind of digital stuff. You can also go right up here and change the frequency directly. Try to do a logical program to sequence 
they just went to fight themselves for that. Was summer camp fun? It's kind of cool, you can kind of just see all the peaks of everything on on the swath of spectrum and then just click right on it. It's, instead of just tuning up and down the band and uh, hitting, running into these stations, you can <laughs> visually see them, so that's uh, kind of cool. Um, it's kind of a little bit of fun here. Um, I was going to initially get try to get this to work with some kind of a little Windows um, tablet um, to make it smaller, more portable, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. I, I just got it working on the uh, the laptop here so far. But um, anyway, um, if you're interested in such a thing, the um, let's see it pull up here. This is uh, this is the website here newelect.com and you can find all the stuff still there I got ordered this a while ago um, the one that I got actually was a bundle which I don't know if they have the bundles anymore but basically um, on their website you can get the dongle they got different ones and different kinds and then the uh, the up converter is the ham it up and uh, that's the real key to listening to uh, the HF band shortwave and um, and if you want to listen to hams and all the different modes and CW and upper upper side band lower side band stuff like that so um, that's the real key like I say I really strongly suggest getting the metal enclosures that really um, seems to make it a lot more um, less susceptible to uh, interference from your computer and, and other outside uh, noises and it's not spewing out stuff either so um, like I say um, it's uh, just kind of got it just kind of uh, been playing with it here a little bit so just thought I'd give you guys a quick little uh, look-see and uh, see what you think so uh, until next time this is the Radio Gate. <laughs> 